Okay, welcome to assignment two, task eight. So this is a little bit more complicated task eight. I usually try to make a, a more complicated task at some point for each assignment. So it's saying that what if the you could use the SUVAT formula, the formula that assumes constant acceleration, to approximate the the sort of first part of the dragster race, the bit when it was accelerating. So um, the question says specifically to use SUVAT to calculate the, the distance traveled according to SUVAT. So I'm going to walk you through this one, okay? So what does SUVAT say? SUVAT says that we can have the distance, the total distance, let's say D, as long as we know what the initial distance, what was the where it started, d0, the initial distance, or maybe it's x, I think, I don't know. Maybe we could call this, let's leave it d. Plus the initial velocity times the time plus the acceleration, which is, has to be a constant for SUVAT, times the time to the power 2, so we put a dot if the time is a vector, divided by 2. So none of these things are defined, so this code is totally wrong yet. But this is the idea. This would give us a vector. If this is a vector, then if this will give you all the distances according to what SUVAT thinks. What was the SUVAT approximation? So the dragster started at distance 0, so we could just put this 0, okay? The initial velocity, well, we have that. That's velocity at 1. I think it's approximately zero as well. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to rename this to distance approximately or something. That's what Suvat thinks. The time, we want only the time when it was accelerating. Well, we've calculated that before. That's t pos. And this is the constant acceleration. Now, there didn't exist a constant acceleration. This is the, the point here. But if we use the mean acceleration, the average acceleration, that's approximately correct. We're using the average as if it was a constant. So again, the time we want t pos. So maybe you could follow this rationale here, but you'd always ask yourself, well, how do I know this is correct? What if I submit this and it's wrong? The only way to check is by doing a plot. So I'm going to keep repeating this, but when you do the coursework and you want to check what you're doing is right, you've got to do plots because you don't have, you won't have a pretest for everything. So you can think about it, check, print each value, and then do a plot. So how are we going to plot this? Well, simple. We want t pos against this. But we want to compare this with the data, don't we? So let's do, let's make sure there's a hold off already. Let's make sure we got the y-axis on the left. Let's now plot the data again, so we can bring it up from the top here. We plotted it. Um, nope, a bit further. Here. I'm going to drag that all the way. I've copied and pasted it down. Hold on. Plot the data. Time against distance. Get some labels in there. Okay, that should do it. Um, do we need... I think I want to plot the data first. Ah, it doesn't matter, does it? Let's plot this, see what happens. So I can't get rid of the acceleration on the right, but that's okay. Uh, so the data is the dashed one, and the SUVAT formula is the solid black line. And as you can see, it's not too bad. It's approximately correct. If only asked, I did say assuming that it, you, SUVAT is correct. So that's a good confirmation that you've got it right. I would put some labels in there to make sure that you know exactly what's what. Okay, so next I'm going to teach you how to do the extra part, which is even harder. Okay.